Hi there, my peeps. Welcome back. I'm doing a video on vintage toys again. Brave start. Again, book one. Reading a little bit. So it's good to read. I like I like reading to you guys a little bit, you know. So at least you understand the history of old vintage toys. And this one is from Mattel. That came out in 1986. Brave start. Brave start figures were inspired by a cartoon series produced by Filmation House. Laser Fire, Brave Star, and Tex Hex figures had quick draw arms and came with an electronic backpack which fired re and received inter infrared beams. These could be used to knock over other figures or cause effects in Fort Kirim playset. All figures included pl plastic accessories, a nugget of Kirim, source of all powers in the galaxy. A comic book and a poster came with them. So, who I'm talking about is an obscure character. He's a good guy. Colonel Bor Robot. And guess what? He transforms. This is his uh, version of him as uh, a vehicle. You could, you, you could put uh, Brave Star in it so you can ride him. Uh, exactly, I don't know exactly how it goes. I don't want to break him. Because I've ne I don't see many pictures of him in books and on reviews. Not a lot of people did reviews on him. But here he is. So, transform. That's it. Then what you could do is he has weapons on the side here. He has a bugle, which I don't know if you could put it in him. You can't. See? You keep him on the side. Right there. And he has another weapon. It's a, it's a sword. Which I don't know. I don't think you could put it on him. It's possible. Let's check him out. Let's see. No, you cannot uh, display the weapons on him. They're on the side. Uh, I find him a weird character, but you know what? He's part of Brave Star. I like him. I give him. What do I give him? A three and a half on five. If you if you're a guy that likes to collect uh, weird '80s figures like me, like Brave Star, uh, a lot of people don't know about this figure. I gotta admit this. They don't. They don't even know it exists. In some guides, he's not in here. In my guide here. It's not in there. Because the guy didn't know it exists. Is he rare? I don't know. I paid $10? Yes, I did. Did I get a good price? Hell, I did. I bought it a long time ago, but I haven't done none of my preview uh, reviews of Black Star yet. Uh, Black Star. Brave Star. It's because... I don't have them all. I have a few. I have about probably seven figures. Which I'm going to start doing more again. So I like him. He's cool. He's a good guy. You know, because don't forget, it wasn't in the future this, right? So he's pretty awesome. You know, you can put him in positions that you want. He's pretty cool. You have to put him in this position the best. He, sh he shoots at you, at the bad guys. With a laser for one hand, and uh, he has another hand that. Ah, oh, I see now. Okay. Look, plastic junkie got it. So what you do is you take the weapons and you put them in his hand the bugle could fit in one hand here like this and it goes to him but the sword itself to be honest with you i don't know how to put it on him probably you have to put it in a different way because there's this gap here which I don't know where it goes I don't know how he holds his his, uh, his knife ah there we go I found out there we go this is how he holds his weapons so I finally figured it out it took time but I never realized when I saw this I didn't know what the heck it was the guy told me it was Brave Stars a friend of mine named Peter every time I meet him at the TFCon he finds me weird obscure stuff and I bite them off from every time I have the stage coach uh, from Brave Star which I paid $70 was worth every penny 
I have Raystar himself. I have Texex, uh, Sandstorm, and Handlebar. Oh yeah, and Thunderstick, which you've seen already me do. So, and uh, a bad guy, which I forget his name, but he's gonna be next. Stay tuned, part two, a Brave Star. Cheers, my peeps.